Hey guys, it's Rachel of Splash Journal, and this is part two of the butterfly play page. As you can see, I did uh, the outline of the butterfly. I did that in Copic, and then I added um, two part butterflies colored in with Copics as well. Uh, and I used a Martha Stewart punch, and I'm going to be adding these butterflies to yeah, um, each corner at the end. So, what you're about to see is a sped up version of me doing the butterfly. And then I'll be back with a little bit of what I used. So, here we go.
and here's the finished page. As you can see, I kind of changed my mind. I decided just to put one in the lower left hand corner and one in the upper hand corner, right hand corner. The reason why is that when I glued them down, I realized I pulled out three instead of four. <laughs> I meant to pull out four, but you know what? That's fine. It, it looks okay yeah sure this is an empty spot here but I actually like that there and then I added two flowers like one darker purple flower here that was a mix of light purple blue um and red mainly um the blue and red I believe and this one was really mainly the there I think there's might be some red in here Mainly the light purple and blue. Um, and this is just that light purple by itself. And then this is a mixture of both, of like a couple of colors and stuff like that. Um, but I like how it came out. Um, and it's cool with that. And the reason why I'm not, um, disappointed in an empty spot is I have like an empty spot like right here so it kind of matches uh stuff like that so yeah this was really fun to do and then that kind of going from red to purple can't really tell on this side but that's okay and then that purple splotch and then that but yeah um not perfect but it's not supposed to be perfect for this this is just like a practice and stuff like that anyway that's it for today and i'll talk to you soon Bye.